Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a winter to spring transitional lookbook. It's that really strange time of year. It's not quite spring, not really winter anymore. There's some days that are really bright and sunny, but maybe still a bit chilly. And then there's some days that are really rainy and cold and windy and you want to cover up. You know, the shops are kind of at that weird mid-season. Yeah, you just don't really know what to wear. So I thought I'd put together five key pieces that you'll probably already have in your winter wardrobe or you might have something similar and just by changing up what you style them with gives you a way to reinvent your current winter wardrobe just for this sort of month or two whilst the weather can't really make up its mind. So if you'd like some ideas on how to style your wardrobe for this time of year then keep watching. The first item that I've picked is a really a wardrobe basic. It's a shirt dress and this is just a really simple one from ASOS. I believe you can still get this one so I'll link it down below. They're just really versatile. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear them in the daytime, you can wear them out for drinks. I really love shirt dresses. I think they're really flattering. You can layer really easily with them too. So for a winter look, obviously this is gonna be a little bit chilly. So I would probably pair this with a blazer over the top just to keep you a bit warmer. You can always pop the collar and have this collar on the top or roll the sleeves on the blazer and have the shirt dress sleeves showing as well just for a little bit of extra detail. And I would probably as well just to cover up wear this with some maybe over the knee boots, um, just so that you've not got too much skin exposed to the weather. It's gonna make a super, super cute winter look, both for daytime and evening. You can also glamify a bit just using accessories, a simple black clutch and lots and lots of jewelry. This is gonna be perfect to go straight into an evening look. I just think for this particular look, just for the different lengths involved, it's a really nice play on proportion. If you want to add a little bit more shape to this look, then you could just put a belt around the blazer, leave it open so that you can still see some of the shirt dress, and then just belt the whole thing slightly more, cinched in at the waist, it'll give you a little bit more shape, and it's gonna look super cute. For days when it feels a little bit more like spring, if it's a little bit warmer, you might not want to pair this with a blazer. You could just wear it on its own. And for that look, I would probably again go with a belt, maybe a more delicate belt like this one. And then you could also just pair it with some cute pastel pumps or something like that, just so that you know, you've got a little bit more springtime color in there too. As I say, I do think this is one of the most versatile items you could possibly have in your wardrobe. If you don't have one, I would seriously consider investing in one. I do think it's a good investment piece because I do think you're gonna get to wear it again and again and again. The next piece is another wardrobe staple and it's a leather jacket, or in this case, a faux leather jacket. I've had this one years. I would recommend spending a little bit more, whether it's leather or faux leather, just so that you get a good cut, a good fit, and good stitching, because this is something you really wanna keep in your wardrobe for years. Um, again, they can be used at all times of the year, but I'm gonna show you a more wintry look, and then a more springtime look. For winter, I would probably go a little bit more rock chick, and I'd probably keep the color theme, so go with like all black. I would pair this probably with a black skirt, or black shorts, or maybe even some black coated jeans but I'm gonna pair it with this skirt, which I've just got from Topshop. You'll see it in an upcoming haul video. Um, so it's a faux leather pleated mini skirt and probably some tights as well. Leather jackets are great for every time of year, but particularly for the winter because they tend to be really warm and they're waterproof. And then to kind of keep going with the rock chick look, I'm gonna also put it with some biker boots, probably just a little cropped white tee. It's quite classic with a leather jacket. So I would pop that together really really simple really warm waterproof as well if you're in scotland that's that's a must for a springtime look though you really want to kind of lighten up the whole look and because it's a dark leather jacket you want to add some color in elsewhere in your outfit so what i would do with this in the springtime is pair it with jeans a little bit like this so a pale wash denim and a colorful tee another way that you can easily make a leather jacket look more springtime again is with accessories and particularly with heels i have a pair of pastel heels here um, that are from New Look. I've had them for absolutely years and they serve me so well at this time of year and going into spring-summer. 
because when you've got more neutral pieces in your wardrobe, and I do have quite a neutral wardrobe, they can just add that kind of pop that you need of pastel color for the spring. So the third thing I'm gonna show you is shorts. I absolutely love wearing shorts in winter. I think paired with tights and an oversized jumper, or sweaters such as this one. It looks so cute, it looks so cozy, but again, it's slightly more dressy than if you were to just wear it with jeans. Um, yeah, I'd probably stick to a patterned tight at this time of year, they're very in right now, but keep your legs a little bit warmer. You could either go for an ankle boot, a mid-calf boot, or again, a biker boot would work really nicely. For the spring, you can afford again to add a little bit more color. So for this look, I've gone with a pale colored blazer. This is a white blazer from Zara. Pop a bit of color under the blazer, so I've just chosen this pink top from m and I've had this absolutely years, and yeah, you can see there, it's just much more springtime instantly, and I'd probably wear this with a pair of sandals, a pair of pumps again in a similar pastel colour. I wouldn't go for tights with this look just because it is probably going to darken it a little bit too much, so I would go bare-legged in this instance. The fourth look might be a little bit controversial for some, and it's white jeans. I know in some places there's this whole no white jeans after Labor Day and all of that, but I think times have changed. I think it's a lot more flexible now, and I absolutely love wearing white in winter. I think it looks fantastic. You know, snow is white, for instance. In winter, these make a really great casual look for the daytime with, again, an oversized sweater. I've just chosen this blush pink one from New Look. And again, I'd probably belt this just for a little bit more shape during the day if I was going out and about. And I actually really like white with tan accessories. So I'd probably pair this with a tan bag and ankle boots. You could also pair it with black accessories and that would be absolutely fine for a winter's day. I recently wore this to lunch in the country with my mom at like a country hotel and it worked really well. It's just gonna brighten up those dreary days a little bit, I think. For spring, I think it's really easy to wear white jeans. They go so well at this time of year with so many pastel colors. In this case, I'd probably just pair it with a t-shirt or a similar top to the one I showed you for the shorts. But in this case, I would just pair it with a really simple colored t-shirt. This is like a pastel-y orange color, almost like a salmon color. Again, with some, you know, pastel shoes or just some new neutral heels, something like that. Keep it dead simple. You don't really want to overdo it with the accessories when it comes to white because it is quite a standout look on its own. That said, white does go with a whole array of colors and tones, so you can play around as well. But I would probably say like keep it minimal on the accessories if you can and you won't go far wrong. But my final look is a long blazer and if you watched my Zara haul video, you will have already seen this particular one. I ended up keeping both of the blazers. I asked you in the comments which you preferred or if I thought you should keep them. Um, everybody loved the white sleeveless blazer, the waistcoat style, so I've kept that and also I really ended up liking it, so I'm keeping this one too. Now this is a bit of a cop out because I know that blazers are so versatile already. They're one of my favorite pieces of clothing, if not my absolute favorite piece of clothing. I re-wear them all the time as well, which is great. But I still wanted to show you a couple of different looks that you can do with the same blazer um, for colder days and slightly warmer springtime days. So for a winter day, I would probably wear this open with sort of a, a warmish top underneath. I would probably pair this with some black jeans. These are coated jeans, just for that added bit of warmth and waterproofness. And I would probably leave it open just with a very simple top underneath under a plain white tee or a plain black tee and black accessories. Again, would look wonderful with biker boots or some ankle boots. And yeah, it's really good to go. You're gonna be cozy. You could also wear it with, you know, a scarf if you really wanted. For a spring day, I would probably just wear um, for spring, because this is longer, you could just wear it on its own and that's what I plan to do. Obviously, keep it closed and just wear it with some simple nude or neutral heels. You could roll up the sleeves on this as well, just for that little bit more skin showing in the springtime. Plant is attacking me. Stop it. And it's gonna look really great for daytime and evening. So yeah, great for a day out, like shopping, going for brunch, going for lunch. And then at nighttime, you'll just glam it up again with the accessories, maybe with a little updo. If you're new to blazers and you're looking to purchase one, 
I would definitely say to go for something neutral in color, um, just because they are so much more versatile when it comes to moving through the season. I'd also recommend going for a longer length, maybe not a blazer dress length like this one, but a longer line blazer is gonna suit a lot of different looks. Um, whereas with something shorter, they can often look a little bit more formal and you can often struggle to find um, bottoms that go with them for the right kind of proportions. So yeah, my recommendations for anybody new to blazer would be firstly neutral and secondly a longer length like this one. So there you have it guys, five key pieces that can take you from winter to spring just by pairing them with slightly different items, different accessories and you won't have to worry about not knowing what to wear at this time of year. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed filming it. I've worn a lot of these outfits already and I plan to wear the rest of them in the upcoming weeks. So if you did enjoy it, please leave it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please do subscribe, I'd love to have you as part of my little family. And and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.